Good morning, today we are going to be swatching out some paints that were handmade by Courtney. She has a cute little Etsy shop where she sells her handmade paints and she sent me the Hogwarts which has paints for the four houses of Hogwarts. The Slytherin label has it slithered away from the pan but we have Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff so I thought it'd be fun to swatch these out for you guys. She also has other sets of handmade watercolors like the jewel tone set and the bright primary set so do check out her Etsy shop if you are interested in some awesome handmade paints. <laughs> The colours I'm swatching today are Hufflepuff and according to her Etsy shop it is a samurai black base with gold shimmers. Slytherin, emerald green base with matcha green and silver shimmers. Gryffindor, French vermilion base with gold and pink shimmers. and Ravenclaw, Prussian blue base with silver and blue shimmers. That's the four colours painted and I have to say I'm um, super impressed with these metallic paints. Metallic and pearlescence paints are really hard to get strong opaque coverage whereas I think she, Courtney has managed to do that here. I love that she mixed watercolour pigments with the shine metallic pearlescent pigments which is made for really nice strong opaque watercolors. The Hufflepuff is definitely my favorite in terms of the paint. It is such a gorgeous color. I can totally see this color being a dress. The Slither one is perfect for this kind of sneaky kind of mythical snake kind of color. Gryffindor and Ravenclaw is also brilliant. Now I have to tell you that this black sheet of paper isn't a watercolour sheet. I don't have a black watercolour paper and that's probably why it looks pretty uneven on here. Looking at how evenly the paint went down on the arch paper, I am pretty sure that if you do use a proper watercolour black paper then you'll get a similar result to this rather than this. 
So I do have to apologize to both you and Courtney for using a non watercolor black paper. It's just literally the only one I had. But just looking at stuff that's on the white watercolor paper, it's beautiful, it's nice and even, it was very easy to re-wet. So it's an easy to use quality watercolor. I think it's really nice to have watercolor sets that are themed and these four colors definitely represent the four houses of really well. It's a fun set if you are into your shimmers and you are into your Harry Potter then I can highly recommend this set for you as it's a good quality and it's really good fun. Courtney does offer a discount if you do join her Patreon first so if you're interested in doing that then I will leave links down below for where you can find her patron as well thank you so much to Courtney for sending me these paints they are great fun and thank you so much for watching this video do let me know which house you are in and which color was your favorite and tell me if they were different from your house color thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video bye